Machine shop. Yeah, boy. Welcome, everyone, to an outward weapon guide on the Red Lady's Dagger. This is a unique weapon that offers a lot of damage in your offhand while also granting you some interesting lore. It deals both physical and fire damage, making it great against most enemies. It also has a cool design of the Scarlet Lady on the hilt, and since she is the one to give it to you, this makes some sense. To find this elegant dagger, you need to head into the face of the Ancient's Cave. This is located just outside Berg on the way towards the Hollow Marsh. Inside, you'll find a researcher named Boy or Boye or honestly, I just call him the researcher. This man will ask you to check out the cave below and bring back a blood red idol. He'll pay you 300 silver, which is quite a lot. You can accept this quest or not accept. It doesn't really matter because you don't want to give him the idol in the end either way. Down the rope, you'll face many fire enemies called burning men. Take a right and you have a straightforward path down, but it's pretty dangerous. Alternatively, you can head left and jump down this hole here. It goes right to the icy part of this cave and skips the most dangerous section that has you trapped on a spiral ramp. Next, head into the ice area and clear out the enemies. We're once again looking for the first cannibal. If you grab the Sky Crown Mace already, then he won't be here. But if not, you need to take the beast on. Fire damage is crazy good against him, so be sure to bring a varnish along. After the Wendigo is dead, grab the key off his corpse and unlock the gate in the back. Inside, you can find the Red Idol. This is what the researcher was looking for, and obviously he was in no shape to take on the treacherous monster we just eliminated. Instead of going back to the researcher, take a right down the fire hallway. You should bait out one fire horse at a time if you can, fighting both those a recipe for disaster and almost guaranteed to set you on fire at least once or twice. With the cave a bit safer, you can speak with the statue. Doing this will place the idol on a pedestal and remove it from your inventory meaning you can't give it to the man upstairs. As thanks for returning the idol, a soft womanly whisper speaks to you and rewards you with the Red Lady's Dagger. This is the Scarlet Lady, who is the main enemy of the Three Brothers DLC and minor enemy in the Blue Chamber faction quest. Interestingly enough, if you're a member of the Blue Chamber faction, while returning this idol, you get some extra dialogue. The Lich will recognize you as an Aberdeen and will ask you to talk to her more. You're only given the option to refuse and she simply accepts this but warns you not to become her enemy. She has too many already. This shows a very different side of the Red Lich that you're never going to see again. She seems almost cooperative and curious, although this could just be a front so that she can use you as a puppet. We'll never really know for sure. Regardless, you can turn around and pick up the Red Dagger. This is a very cool mini quest reward and it's strong in the right hands. Before we talk more about the dagger, do be aware that this is technically a bad thing. We reconnected an idol with a lich that was being guarded by a secret society. It's likely the Cryptea were keeping the Red Idol from ever being placed on that pedestal again. But through some unknown events, one of them transformed into a Wendigo and ravaged the entire army in that cave, leaving the idol locked away forever. Now that we've returned it, the Red Lady's power grows a bit. Also, if you return to this cave after resetting the area, or sleeping seven days in town, the researcher will have disappeared. He mentions that since you did not find the idol, but looked very hard, there should be no reason he can't have a look himself, implying you probably indirectly got him killed. 
He could have simply left for home, but it's much more likely he ran into a burning man or ghost while scavenging for the idol. Or maybe something even worse happened. My point in telling you this is it's one of the very few times in the game where you, the character, actively do something bad for a cool weapon. This becomes even more evident near the end of the game once you reach the Scarlet Sanctuary in Caldera. In the main room there, you'll see a red wall. If, and only if, you have the Red Lady's Dagger with you, you can use this wall to teleport to a secret room within this maze-like temple. Inside is an interesting item you can use to upgrade the final boss's weapon into something even stronger. Which, again, why would the Red Lady give you such an important dagger? Are we just a pawn in this lady's game? Is she using us to once again be set free? It's believed she's trapped on the moon, but is the red dagger the key to her escape? No one really knows for sure. But it's safe to say Outward 2 would have the perfect plot already built in. The Red Lady's dagger is much more than a cool weapon. Yeah, it's one of the best daggers because it deals a lot of fire damage, but the lore behind it is very interesting as well. Next time you're in the face of the Ancients, think carefully about your choices. You might be setting into motion events that could bring about destruction upon the world. Thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll catch you next time.